This is Idaho News 6. First Idaho robotics competition kicked off this weekend. More than 50 high school robotics teams converged on the Ford Idaho Center for all the fun. Our photojournalist Lindsay Williams takes us there. Qualification match 24. Five, four, six, one. You should be queued up. Today we are hosting 48 teams from around the Pacific Northwest. We've got two teams also from China, a team from Calgary, Canada, and two teams from Minnesota that are here to compete in our 2023 competition at the Fort Idaho Center. This is a place where these kids who have worked since the first Saturday of January to put their robotics knowledge and their robots to the test in an actual competition to make friends with other kids in the same program but from other states. There are no regional competitions in China, so we've decided to come out and to try and challenge ourselves. It was fascinating to see the designs of other teams, which each is very unique in their own way. STEM's in everything. Oh golly, your cooking is a science. STEM is in, in the lighting. STEM's in your car. We would not be able to exist very well if we didn't have the modern conveniences that STEM provides everyone. It's been an absolute blast. It's really fascinating seeing all these teams come together and work towards a single goal. The great part of this competition is it's a sport for the mind and it is not one of those where you want to defeat the other team. You actually want everyone to be running at their most peak, excellent capacity. Match play is always fun with other teams collaborating and stuff like that. So they take care of each other. It's, it's that whole, you, we are all good if we are all good. They're also nice. I think first they're a really tight community and we're like helping each other, giving us each other parts, tips and stuff like that. That's what I find really fascinating about first is that how we can all be friends and competitors at the same time. Here I am in a room with people I've never met before from a whole other time zone, in a different country, a different culture, and we have something in common. And that just struck me that there's a program that can tie kids and people together around the globe that brings that commonality of STEM to the kids. So these kids are the kids that are going to be our future workforce. They're going to be the ones that make things bigger and better and greater. And one of these kids I think someday is going to have that flying car.